Okay, world, uh, you are not going to believe what I did tonight. Emergency service call, 4.30 in the afternoon, call comes in. Uh, chef base, eight drawer unit, refrigeration down. So, uh, come out to this job, and it's one of these pretty good sized motors right here. Fasco D471. Uh, pretty big body on this thing. Uh, 1.1 amps, so 208, 230. Um, anyway, this unit, this fan compressor, compressor, the customer told me, compressor was working, but the fan wasn't working, so I go, shut that thing down, so he doesn't, you know, lose the compressor. So he shut it down, he did what I said, smart man, saved himself a thousand dollars, came out here, started to hit the breaker, compressor ran, but condenser fan motor did not work, so that's this one. Um, so, I'm like, yeah, you need condenser fan motor. I don't have one on the truck, one of these big bad boys, but I got something else. I got a heat craft motor. Dude, you guys are going to have a heart attack what I did. Um, if I can light this thing up, I took duct tape and wrapped it around the heat craft center of the body to uh, make up the distance on the motor to uh, fit in the uh, clamp. So things fit really cool. Um, this thing's supposed to draw like uh, 0.4 or 0.5 amps. Uh, heat craft fan blades are about the same size. In fact, I think they are the exact same size. Um, this motor would even be more efficient because it's got the capacitor on it. And um, so put it in. I'm like, what the heck? I give it a try and see if the amps. And he only needs it the last two weeks. He's getting a new chef base gonna get a self-contained it's a remote so it's got like three evaporators down there and uh, but anyhow he uh, anyways I put the duct tape wrapped it around it uh, not that much I thought it was gonna be a lot more duct tape but anyways uh, made the difference up about a oh, three-eighths of an inch you know didn't take that much wrapping uh, clamped it down it's got a nice resilient mount now the duct tape acts as a uh, rubber mount, you know, so it's like really cool. Uh, fan blade mounts up real close to the shaft, real, real close to the motor, so it's not on the flat. You know, I would have liked it, it to be on the flat part, but uh, it's not. It's on the round. He only, like I said, he only needs it to last for two weeks, so tighten down the Allen key real good. And let her fly, check the amps, and lo and behold, 0.35 amps. Under the 0.4 or 0.5, Better than a heat craft. <laughs> they usually draw like 0.5 on a heat craft. So uh, I'm gonna call it done, and he's happy as hell. His lines at 44 degrees already, and he's got he's he's stoked. So he's waiting on his order. He ordered the unit. Take two weeks to build it and get it shipped here. So uh, he's stoked. He should make it, you know. So uh, just thought you guys would uh, get a kick out of that one. That's. Uh, I've been doing this 30 years, and it's the first time I've ever wrapped duct tape around a motor. Yeah, that I can remember. I mean, maybe I did it 10 or 15 years ago. I don't remember. Yeah, so. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching.